This flip phone has saved my photography and it saved it in three weeks. It's pretty, pretty quick, I would say. Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a shit one. Yes, this is my phone. Like no joke, this is genuinely my phone at the moment. We'll call Liam. Yes, it is actually using a flip phone. That is proof. <laughs> See ya. Goodbye. <laughs> and this is the hangout, ready? Boom. I have really come around on this phone. Before I get into why I stopped using my iPhone and went to this flip phone in the first place, let me just talk to you briefly about where I'm at with my photography and artistically and creatively how I feel at the moment. I just feel like I've been spending way too much time on my phone on Instagram looking at other people's work, which is like just, do you know what I mean? When you're constantly online looking at someone else's work, you don't have a chance to like think of your own ideas. I can't remember the last time I haven't been on my phone for longer than 24 hours. Like that's how bad it's gotten. And it almost feels like you can't do anything without having a smartphone these days. So that's why I was like, no, I need to challenge myself. I need to just go back to the roots. I just need to simplify. I need to figure out my shit. <laughs> and another reason is, and this is like, sort of a catch 22, but a lot of my time goes into making YouTube videos about photography. I'm spending so much time making the video and not enough time actually taking the photos. And because I've been doing YouTube and focusing so hard on trying to make these videos for you, I feel like it's at a detriment to my photography. You know, am I making sense right now? Or does this sound like too far fetched? So, how does that link back to owning a flip phone? Why would I go out and buy this $90 phone that's just meant for like kids or old people? Like, I don't even think you could give this to a kid. In fact, I don't even think you could give this to an old person. Like, I reckon my grandpa would be like, fuck that bro, what the fuck is this shit? Give me an iPhone. <laughs> I'm not a parent, but I could imagine if you gave this to your child and they rocked up to school with it, they would get bullied to a new dimension just for owning this. And that's literally how I feel. Like I walk around the streets and people look at me funny for owning this. I'm like disgusting <laughs> out, out in public for using this. I was on a photo shoot the other day and I whipped this out to make a quick phone call. And the guy there was like, Yo, can I like buy a bag off you or like, what's the go here? <laughs> like, why the fuck do you have a flip phone? <laughs> As humans, we were never designed to spend so many hours a day looking at screens or being on our phones particularly. And these apps that we have now, they are designed to keep you on your phone or in their app for as long as possible. Now that that's all off my chest, you know the reason why I have this. How did it save my photography? Why did I get you to click on this video? Why are you watching? Even if you are watching by this point and you haven't clicked off because you've been like, this guy's a fucking lunatic. This phone has a five megapixel camera on it. And it's shocking, like it sucks. The camera is one of the worst cameras I've ever used in my life. However, knowing that this is one of the worst cameras you could probably buy, Actually, you know what? Maybe I could probably find worse, but no, you know what? It's pretty bad. It's like basically using a webcam from like your MSI school laptop back in 2008. But I do love a challenge. I have tried to take as many good, decent photos or what I think is decent for this shitty little five megapixel camera. And these are some of my photos that I've gotten. Using this camera, like I'll show you how I take a photo. It's like, it's like this. It's like, I have to like hold it really steady like this. I'm in the camera mode now. Here, I'll take a photo of you actually. And you gotta hold your breath in like sniper. Oh, look how beautiful you are. Look at that smile. But why it has been so great to take pictures on this little phone is because it makes you slow down, makes you think, it makes you compose, and it makes you use your surroundings, lighting and subject placement, composition, really basic parts of photography that I feel like I've just 
been neglecting for so long. Like everything's digital nowadays, everything's fast, everything's content, content, get it out, reels, TikToks, flashbang in your face. Like every, all content is like that. And it's nice to like take a step back and realize that, you know, you can just like chill out. At least for me, that's probably very obvious to you because you're very smart and I'm very stupid. That's why I'm standing here with a fucking flip phone. <laughs> but it is, it has been so nice just to like disconnect, slow down and really just get back in touch with the very basics of photography, which has helped me further, you know, my photography journey, I feel. And then when I get to pick up, you know, a proper camera that I'm very familiar with, I can take the really basic things that I've relearned from this phone and put it back into my photography. Here's some recent photos that I'm really proud of. Am I gonna stay on the flip phone? Yes. I actually have a trip to Japan booked uh, three weeks from now. And obviously when I start traveling again, I, I can't, I just cannot use this. Like smartphones, 100,000% make your life easier. FaceTiming, navigation, translations. AirDrop is like one of the best things ever invented. So when I start traveling again, I'm definitely gonna get back onto the smartphone. But then I hope by then I would have done some, you know, training through my flip phone and been disciplined enough to know when to use this and when to put it down and to catch myself out when I'm just scrolling and just doing shit absolutely mindlessly, um, which I already feel like is working. I don't feel any urge to go on my smartphone or to just get on and start using it or whatever. Like I'm very used to using this now. So when I start traveling, I'll probably have to go back to this. But then once I'm back, I'll probably chuck my SIM card back in this one. I'm happy to keep using it. There you go. Thanks for listening to my little rant. No, it's not a rant. It's a way of life. If you watched this far in the video, you're a fucking legend. If I told you something new, maybe you can leave a like down below or help us out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one and I will see you in the next one. Looks like a fucking wedge tail eagle, right?